The third key to happiness is having something to look forward to. Everybody needs something to look forward to. Now I want to explain to you uh, a cute situation that I had in my own family. You know, my son Jack in 2009, he was nine years old. And uh, he's a bubbly, energized kind of little boy. But he had a dream and he wrote a message to Santa Claus. And uh, I have the note here that he wrote to Santa Claus. I kind of intercepted it. And it says, To Santa from Jack. I am going to read it to you. What it says is, Dear Santa, I would like a phone, Xbox 360, or an iPod Touch for my present this year. Love, Jack. I thought that was kind of cute, but Jack didn't know that Dad got a hold of that message. And Dad was very fascinatedly interesting and interested in seeing what would happen. So Jack, Dad watched Jack all month long. Jack had this incredible happiness about him, and the uh, happiness had to do with his anticipation. And then, lo and behold, the day came. It was Christmas Day morning, and Jack's energy and yeah, Happiness and enthusiasm and anticipation had even risen more because what is it now going to be? Is it the iPod Touch? Is it the phone? Or is it the Xbox? Which would it be? And there he is in the middle of our living room and he's like a he's like the light on a Christmas tree himself. He's so excited. They are passing the box, and he opens it. And to his glowing delight, it's the Xbox 360, which is what he really wanted anyway. And see, right there, even for a little kid, it shows that having something to look forward to and to anticipate is so, so important to exuding happiness. So, ladies and gentlemen, happiness is your choice. You get to choose to be happy. And when you choose to be happy, there's joy all around. So remember the three keys to happiness. Find something to do that you love. Find a human person to love. And always have something to look forward to so you can love looking forward. This is Dr. Dennis Burke your moment of wisdom.